Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent Sunsi consultant with Happily Ascented Homes. And today I have my first vendor wax video. I'm so excited to film this, you guys. Um, as you guys have seen, like in the couple past videos that I've done, I've said that I've wanted to try some vendor wax, but I was waiting until it was more financially possible to do so. And since I pushed out my club for like a year, I've been able to save here and there. So I was able to finally um, do a vendor wax purchase and I chose to do lavender and speckles. Um, so I've like joined a couple of the different vendor, va uh, vendor wax Facebook groups and I've watched a couple of you guys on YouTube that have purchased from Beth before. And honestly, a lot of her scents like they spoke to me, like they seemed like they fit my wheelhouse and my scent preferences and all of that. So I just chose to, to do her first and her pricing is very decent. Um, like the smallest bags, which I think give you like six of her little like uh, cube molds are like five fifty each, which is not that bad at all. And she has a flat rate of $10 shipping, which is awesome. Same as Sensi. So perfect. So I was able to pick up um, some of the things that she had in her February pre-order because um, there was some sense in there that I really wanted to try and I did keep my order reasonably small. I only picked up six. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started and sniff these bad boys because I am so excited. I really wanna see if these vendor waxes will, if I can find some dupes first, like Sensi Heartbreaks that I can't get anymore. And really I wanna find some good bakery vendor wax. Like that's what I'm truly, truly looking for. Some good bakery and some good floral woody. Like that's what I'm really, really looking forward to. So the order came in perfect. It was packaged perfectly. She put all kinds of like extra like little, you know, stuff you're filling. So that way it came not damaged. And I do like that she puts in her business card in every order. And then she also does this thing where if you, um, put a picture of your haul, um, you get to be entered into a drawing and you can win free wax or coupons. So that's really neat too. I do like that. And then obviously she gives you a copy of your invoice. And the best part is she actually highlights on the invoice when to warm the wax because her wax does need a little bit of time to cure. So she says that everything here, my order should be I should be able to warm it after March 15th. So I do plan on waiting until probably April um, to warm her wax, um, just because I'm trying to get down some of my Scentsy collection. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on for March, because my theme for March is don't hoard wax, Amy. And if you haven't checked out my melting basket video, definitely do that. I'll either put a link up here or put a link in the description box. So. We'll go ahead and get started. Um, she does include a little sampler, um, which is not expected um, in the order. And this one is vanilla pipe smoke and cashmere. Um, I don't have a scent description on it though, but oh, and if you just heard that, that's the dog. So let's, oh, that's actually pretty nice. It's got like a creamy vanilla to it. And I can definitely like get like a cozy vanilla. It's probably where that cashmere is coming from. And it does have like a smoky quality, but the smokiness, it's really not like um, like an ember or like a fire, like campfire smoke. It's more of like a tobacco smoke. It's kind of like the same tobacco note that's in Hendrix from Sensi. But this is blended very, very nicely with this vanilla in here in the cashmere. That's going to be really lovely to warm. I think I might warm this in my office. I don't know. In the video, if any of you guys have tried lavender and speckles before, um, in small, small spaces, because my office is like an 8 by 12, I think, is would her scents be too strong for that type of space? Because sometimes I like smoke out the faculty members and they're like, oh, I don't like that. But let me tell you, I had Bright Cider Life Pods in my Sensi Go at my office all week. And every single person that walked by my office was like, what are you, what are you, um, 
warming today because they liked it. So I'm just wondering if her sense would be too strong for a small space or does it not matter? So that's the sample I got. Now we'll get into the small bags that I picked up. So this one screamed for me. Banana nut bread and buttercream. I don't like Sensi's banana nut bread. So I like it on cold. But the minute that it warms, there's no banana. And I really like a banana nut bread uh, scent. I There's one by Walmart that I used to get all the time. So I definitely wanted to try Lavender and Speckles banana nut bread and buttercream. Um, she says it's sweet banana nut bread and rich buttercream frosting. So uh, let's see. Oh my God, I can already smell the buttercream from here. Shut up. Oh my God. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my God, the banana note in here is so good. It's like banana extract. You know, like if you bought McCormick um, banana extract in like the bottle, that's the banana note I'm getting in here. And the buttercream is just fantastic. It's not like an overly decadent gourmand scent, but it could be. Oh, this is what I've been missing. Oh, this is really good, you guys. This is phenomenal. Oh, I cannot wait to warm this. So far, I am thoroughly pleased with the scent on that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, another bakery one that I picked up was pistachio and caramel cake. Okay, this one is sweet vanilla cake blended with caramel and maple drizzle with a cherry leaning pistachio. So a cherry leaning pistachio. All right, let's let's take a sniff. Oh, that's good. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Okay, so I definitely get cherry-leaning pistachio, but it's not like cherry cough syrup or cherry medicinal. It's a really good cherry. And it's almost got like almond extract in it too. I definitely get the, the sweet vanilla cake and the caramel. Oh my gosh. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It kind of does smell like a maraschino sugar cookie almost, but like a maraschino vanilla cake. Like if you had a cupcake and like put a cherry with like pistachio vanilla buttercream frosting. Oh, that's good. It's not as strong as the banana nut bread and buttercream, but I feel like this will be a medium performer. Oh, that's really good though. Like if you're missing cherry almond pie, by Sensi, or if you didn't get maraschino sugar cookie. Mm, I think you would really like this one. This one's, oh, I like the caramel in here too, because the caramel, it just helps blend everything together. Like it's not trying to overpower the other scent notes, but I would say the most forward note is this cherry leaning um, pistachio. So Ooh, two for two. I am so glad because like I said, I've never ordered from her to, before. So I literally just went off a of scent descriptions. I didn't really um, pull up like reviews that had these scents in them. Nothing like that. I just went off a of scent description alone and just crossed my fingers that these would be something that I would like. So, okay. So, Coastal Pine Cone. So this one is roasted pine cones with hints of lemon, marine air, and sea greens. So like a woody, lemon, beachy type of scent. So let's see. And I've heard a lot of people rave about coastal pine cones. And I know she just did like a pine cone sampler. So okay, this isn't bad. I don't mind it. Let me take one out. Okay, so the marine air and the sea greens is definitely in here. But the lemon's reading a little bit cleaner, but that's not a bad thing. It's just reading more like 
cleaner lemon. And I definitely get like a woodiness from that pine cone. It almost smells like a bag of um, like potpourri. Like if you had pine cone, you know the pine cones, like the cinnamon pine cones that they have like during the holidays. Well, think of like a beach version of that. That's what these smell like. I think I might warm this in a bathroom or my kitchen. It's on the lighter side. So it's definitely lighter than the two bakery that we just sniffed, but I don't think that's going to be a bad thing. I think this one might be like one of those ones that just light and it lingers for days. So, but not bad. I do like the scent appeal on it. So this is, this is good. And then I did pick up another um, pine cone one. I got must probably gonna say it wrong masala chai pine cones i think charity on here um really likes the scent um it's nutty and spicy masala chai freshly baked cinnamon buns and roasted pine cones so we know i love cozy chai by sunsi so that that was one of my factors into um buying this one and then also the cinnamon buns because i didn't like um frosted cinnamon roll I didn't care for it that much um, from Sensi and sticky cinnamon bun. I have a bar in my melting basket, but honestly, it's not my favorite. And then what was that other one that we just had? That was a cinnamon bun one too, or maybe it wasn't cinnamon bun. Oh, fried ice cream. I really didn't like that one either. So I definitely want to see what this one smells like. Oh, this one's really nice. Oh, oh, it's very nutty, very chai. I don't get much bakery though. Not much bakery. I mostly get the nutty and spicy chai and then the pine cones. Not much of the cinnamon bun. I wonder if that will come out later when, when it warms. This one's not bad at all either. Ooh. Yay. Four for four. <laughs> okay. So there's that one. It won't seal. There we go. Okay. And then I do have two more. I got Oceanside Laundry. So we know how I like my laundry scents. Um, this one's Sea Air, Jasmine, Driftwood, and Fresh Laundry. So we shall see what it smells like. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is definitely Oceanside Laundry. Oh my gosh. The Jasmine in here. That is good. Oh, that is good. It's almost like if you took that Pacific Mist bar that we had as the scent of the month for Sensi last year and by the sea and clean breeze, if you kind of mixed all three of those together, I feel like you would get this. But this is lovely. I think this is a great alternative to like those heavy 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 laundry scents this is strong it smells strong on cold um but i feel like it's got enough of that sea air and the driftwood and the jasmine that it kind of like blends very well and it's a very complex bar i like it i really it's like a sophisticated laundry scent it really is oh that's good i made some good choices here let me tell you all right, and then last but not least, we did gardenia and apples. So I love gardenia and I like apple scents. So I wanted to try this one. This one has fresh gardenia blossoms, juicy apples, and cashmere cedar. So let's see. Oh my God, no way. Oh my God. Shut up. This is beautiful. This is like the best apple blossom I've ever smelled in my life. This smells so much like a peeling apple from Scentsy. 
or apple press but just add a lot a lot more of the gardenia blossom oh you guys if this performs the way i want it to i don't need to club a peeling apple i can get my fix off of this thing oh my gosh that is awesome i'm so i want to warm this like immediately i know i can't yet but oh my god i think that's like my favorite out of all these so i will rate my favorites right now Okay, so I only have six cents here. So my favorite, just on colds, because I haven't warmed any of these yet, would be the gardenia and apples. I, I really, really like this one. And like I said, if it performs the way I want it to, I'll be able to kick a peeling apple right out of my club and maybe even lush gardenia. Like, it's like the best of both worlds. It's like having a peeling apple and lush gardenia in the same scent. And the gardenia in here is not intense. It's not. So if you can't handle gardenia scents, oh, that, this is so good. I love that one. Okay. And then second would be the banana nut bread and buttercream. This is exactly what I was hoping that it would smell like. I am so excited to warm this. Oh, it smells like authentic banana nut bread with vanilla butter bean frosting. Oh my gosh. It's so good. And then pistachio and caramel cake would be my number three out of this bunch. Again, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that I was going to like the cherry pistachio in here. But honestly, it smells like a maraschino sugar cookie with like pistachio buttercream frosting. Oh, it's so good. I love that one. And then number four would be the Oceanside Laundry because I do love my laundry scents and this is just so nice and it's not aggressive and I really like like the beach grass and this in the salty mist and all of that that's in here. Oh, it's so good. And then Coastal Pine Cones would be my number five. I do like this one. I want to see how it warms. I like the lemon in here, even though it's got like a cleaner to it. I do like it and I like the marine air in here. It's not like a mineral or like a weird water aquatic scent. And the sea and the sea greens is really good. Like it's not seaweed. It's not twilight seaweed. So we're good there. And then rounding out the bunch would be the masala chai pine cones. I um, was hoping that we would get more cinnamon bun on here. But I, I'm hoping that comes out when it warms. But I do like the nuttiness and the spicy chai. And the pine cones. I was just hoping that it would be more like sweet. Like it would be more bakery than it is woody and nutty. Um, so we'll see how it warms though. So that is my lavender and speckles haul with my little sampler. So I'm so excited to share that with you guys. I am so excited to get into the vendor wax. I'm not going to go insane. Trust me. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to go and try out. Like I want to try every vendor, but I don't need to try every vendor like right now. Like they're going to constantly be making, you know, fragrances and pre orders and that type of thing. So I do want to try lavender and speckles a couple of times before I move on to a different vendor. Um, I do have second and spruce on my list. Um, so those of you that have recommended that vendor company, it is on my mind, it is on my list, but I do want to try lavender and speckles a couple more times. She's um, going to be doing a March pre order. I think she's going to do monthly pre-orders now um so it's definitely one that I do want to check out again. But I do want to warm these first before I make another order. So hope you guys like this video. And if you have tried lavender and speckles before, I love to know in the comments, like what's been your best uh, fragrance that you've had from her. And are you guys going to be picking up anything in the March pre-order that she's got going on? Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. Have a nice day. Bye.